Okay. Hi. Okay. So May is like one of my absolute favorite months in Plexus ever because we have had so many amazing things that have happened along the years in May. And so I've just kind of claimed it as my favorite month in the history of our business because of all of the things that have happened. And I know that we actually have several people who maybe weren't here three years ago and don't know all of the exciting things that happened. Um, and maybe they're new and they haven't heard the stories and they haven't heard all the ups and downs and all the different things. So as I was thinking about heading into May this month, I was like, oh my goodness. I was like, let's start with a fun celebration Zoom. Um, and this will not be the only one that we're going to do. We're going to be doing different kinds of celebrating things all throughout the month, different giveaways, um, different contests, just different things. Um, because we love to celebrate, right? Um, and who doesn't love to have fun? So speaking of fun, this is something that I have learned from a very high level coaching program that I have paid to be in. Alita and I are doing it. And one of the things that she does is she starts so many of our different Zoom calls um, with music and dancing because it's fun and it literally just elevates your energy. So if you are ever just like in a mood and you're, you're, like trying to amp yourself up to be able to work or you're just like having a day, um, throw some fun music on and just start dancing. You might feel silly. You might think you look ridiculous, but that is like one of my best tips that I have learned through this. So we do like fun dancing and then we do meditations to help like up level our gratitude and all of that. So those two things are going to help you so much. So we are going to you have a fun little dance party here for a minute. And I see a bunch of you with your videos on. Um, and so I want to see you dancing and singing and having a fantastic time because life is too short to not live a little and dance and have fun. So here we go. <laughs> I will pick one prize, whoever has the best dance move. I see Gino there. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I saw some fantastic dance moves. Oh man, you guys, it's a tough tie between Jean and Megan. I really saw them jamming out over there. But Jean, who's in the car with you? My hubby. Your hubby. I saw him dancing too. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to send you guys a Plexus hat. In the mail. You can share it and you can both wear it if you'd like. <laughs> we will, you help me win, help us win a hat, a Plexus hat. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, you guys. So, and Nicole, oh my gosh, we have a birthday girl over here today. Happy birthday, Nicole. Everybody drop some love in the chat for her. That is super exciting, super fun. We love birthdays big time. Actually, we love any kind of celebrating because everything is worth celebrating. There is, if I have learned anything in this business, it is that nothing is too small to celebrate. There is nothing that you do in your business. If there's something that you're feeling really proud of and you're like, mm, I don't think I need to shout myself out for that. Or I don't need to tell anybody that it's too small. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as something being too small for you to celebrate. So I want you guys to fully embrace that. And I want you guys to do all of the celebrating that you can. Okay. Okay. So, so what I wanted to walk you guys through a little bit today was taking you back a few years um, in my journey back to 
the beginning <laughs> because there's so many things you guys like, okay, let's just first start out um, by recognizing that it took five months for me to find three people. <laughs> Like, can we just all acknowledge that for one minute? If you had someone on your team who took five months for them to find three people, would you be screaming and thinking, this is going to be my next diamond? Anyone? Anyone? No, probably wouldn't be, okay? It's just the truth of it. Also, how many of you would be beating down their door to invite them to convention being like, I know that they have to be there. This is going to be huge for them. They absolutely have to come to convention. Those are probably not the people on your list, are they? But had Alita and Jennifer not done that for me, I, I probably wouldn't be where I am today. Okay. I was a brand new silver. They messaged me a week before convention. Okay. A week before, and it was in Vegas. So I had to book flights. I had to do all that kind of stuff. And they were like, you have to come to convention. I did not understand like the magnitude of that. I did not understand the importance of what that was going to do. So if you have people who are on your heart, who are on your mind, and you want them to be at convention, don't be afraid to message them and message them boldly and get them on a Zoom with your jewel sponsor or me or somebody if you have that much belief in them, right? Because people can do amazing things when they have people who believe in them. Our job is to pour belief into other people. But sometimes we let our own doubts and we let our own insecurities feed into how we view other people. And we're like, well, I don't know. I just don't think that she has what it takes. And then we treat them differently, right? So if you look back, if you had a me on your team who took five months to go with silver, how would you be treating and training me right now? you would probably be like, well, she's really not the best. <laughs> I don't think she has diamond in her. She's definitely doesn't have speed for sure. That's, that's not going to be her journey. But you guys, that was, that was our journey, right? And so we went to convention. It was, you know, that was the series of first steps of doing really scary things. Okay. I had never traveled to a place that I didn't have a family member picking me up. I decided on a whim, like one week in advance that I was going to go out to Vegas. I shared a bed with Alita, Lisa, Latoya. Like we shared a room together. Okay. With a baby. <laughs> it was crazy. Okay. I was up at 345 every single morning because I had a baby who was on East coast time and we were in Vegas. But when I was there, I will never forget standing in the back. I had my baby with me bouncing him up and down. And I remember watching all of the top earners on stage and they were sharing about their journeys. And there were people who had less than 200 friends on Facebook. And there were people who were introverts and there was this, and there was that. And there were people with a bazillion kids and all these different kinds of things. And I remember watching them hear their story and thinking to myself, there is no difference between them and me. If they can overcome their obstacles, then I can overcome my obstacles too. Because every single person that you see at the top of this company has whatever um, obstacles you feel like you're facing in your business or you're going to face, there is somebody with a story who has already overcome those same things. So whatever things you're looking at in your life that are excuses or things that you're saying, like, I can't do this because of X, Y, Z, or this always gets in the way or whatever it is, there is someone 
who has already overcome all of those obstacles, which means that you can also overcome any of those obstacles that are in your way, okay? You just have to determine in your mind that you can do it because our mind is so powerful. That's been the entire journey has been learning to manage my mind. Because whether you believe you can or you can't do something, you are 1000% correct. Okay, I remember standing there at convention, I made my very first little dream board. Okay, I, I like Googled a picture of an emerald and I downloaded it on my phone and I went and I put convention by 2018. And I determined in my mind that I was going to come back the next year and I was going to walk that stage as an emerald. You guys, I had no clue how I was going to do that. I was a brand new silver. I didn't know how to run a business. I hadn't run businesses. Um, You know, I worked as a barista for six months in college. Like I didn't know how to run a business. Every single skill that you see here now that I have, I have learned along the way which means that you can learn any skill set that you need to learn. If you're looking and you're like, I need to be better at public speaking, or I need to get better at customer service, or I need to get better at expanding my network, or I need to get better at recruiting, or I need to get better at duplication, leadership, blah, 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 blah. Whatever it is that you're like, this is an area that I struggle with. I probably struggled with it too. So I dove into personal growth books. I dove into coaching. I went to our team trainings and I was so hungry because that's what Les Brown talks about in my favorite video ever that all of you guys have heard about before. And if you haven't message me, I will send it to you. It's my all time favorite. And I listened to that video every single day for an entire year because that's how important my mindset was. I knew that in order to hit the goals that I wanted to hit, I had to manage my mind every single day. And in that video, he talks about how you have to be hungry You guys, you have to be hungry for the things that you want. You have to be so hungry that when those obstacles come, instead of you looking for the problems, you start looking for all of the solutions. Instead of you letting your brain default to all the reasons why you can't do this, you are going to start being proactive and your brain is going to start searching for all of the reasons why you can do this. You guys. Your brain will search for whatever you're telling it is important. So if you're just focusing on all of your problems, it's all you're going to see. But if you're like, no, I'm so determined to do this, I am willing to see the solutions. If you are telling yourself, like if, if you go into a coaching session and you keep saying things like, I don't know why I'm still here, or I don't know why I'm at this ranker. I don't know why I keep hitting this leadership letter. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What you are doing is you are letting yourself off the hook from truly seeing what the problems are. I will tell you every single time in this business, if you are truly willing to look deep and to see what things are there, it will always reveal itself. It will always reveal itself, but some of you are unwilling because you think, oh, it's going to be painful. I don't want to see what's there, but you guys, it's growth. It's actually beautiful and it can be really, really fun, but you have to be willing to see what's there. You guys, it is fun when we are winning. It is fun when you see people who are ranking up, when you see all of this growth, when you see this momentum, you know, when we hit Emerald five years ago, Yes, it was, I think it was five years ago now at this point in May, because May is my favorite month. We hit it in May. Um, You guys, there's, there's just going to be, there's going to be so many things, okay, that are going to, that are going to come up for you, right, in your mind. And I want you to know that you can do any of those things that you put your mind to. Okay. All of those winning things, all things, those are super fun. Okay. And we want to celebrate those things, but what people don't see is the behind the scenes of the day in the day out, um, showing up sometimes success can be boring. (laughs) And I know that sounds like a really funny thing to say. Like everyone wants to celebrate the mountaintops and we're here, we're celebrating three years ago, our team double ranked Sapphire and diamond, like that was huge. And that was amazing. And that was incredible, you guys. But there were a lot of things behind the scenes that people didn't see. It was the showing up day in and day out that nobody else saw, right? Yes, 
Victoria shared this beautiful picture of these flowers in the valleys and those flowers are not on the mountaintops because so much beautiful growth happens in the valleys. Most of our journeys are in the valley. So you have to learn to appreciate the beauty that is there. You have to be willing to see the things that are stopping you so that you can overcome them and you have to learn to manage your mind. So I'm going to share with you guys. Okay. So the month that we decided to go, um, Sapphire and Diamond in the same month, um, it was one of those things that was actually not even on my radar ever. Like it was not a thing that I ever thought about, never even crossed my mind as a possibility. And we were in a jewel chat um, with a bunch of other jewels in the company. And someone had said a dream of mine was always to hit Sapphire and Diamond in the same month. And Alita called me and she was like, hey, Megan, what do you say next month you double rank Sapphire and Diamond and me, you and your mom all go Diamond in the same month? And I was like, you're nuts. I was like, that can't happen. Like people don't do that. What are you talking about? Like, I, I haven't heard of people doing this. How could we possibly do that? And she was like, well, before you decide, I just want you to think about it because I think that it's actually possible. Okay. And so I got off the phone with her and I thought about it for a while and I talked to Phil about it and I looked at some numbers and I thought, um, it does seem impossible, right? But what is the phrase that we always say? Like your dreams are possible, right? There are going to be things that seem impossible. You know, there were a lot of people who told me it is impossible for you to double rank Sapphire and Diamond. You all are a part of a team that did something that less than 10 people in the entire company have ever done. Okay, that should breathe belief into you that you were a part of a massive movement that happened that is continuing to this day, you guys. Three years later, we're still growing. We're still changing lives. We're still doing all of those things, okay? And so it seemed impossible. But I decided, well, we might as well just go for it because part of our goal in this journey has always been, and this doesn't have to be everybody's goal. This is a personal thing of mine is that I always want to push the envelope on what people think is possible to prove to other people that you can do seemingly impossible things. Like that is my mission in life for people to look and be like, that's impossible. Nobody pays off a hundred thousand dollars in student loan debt in 15 months. We did. Nobody double ranks Sapphire and Diamond. We did because the only thing that is limiting you is up here. If you just dared to believe for a few minutes that you could actually do something, every single one of your actions afterwards would change, okay? And so I remember going live on our team page. I'll have to go back and find it. Actually, that'd be really fun. I went live and it was the first of the month. And I was like, well, if we're going for this, we're putting it out here. May 1st, we're, we're going for this. I went live on Health and Happiness Village. And I said, I told everyone, I said, you know, I know you guys know we're going for a big goal. We're going for Sapphire, but we're actually upping it. And we're going for Diamond this month too. We are planning on double ranking. And after I pitched this great vision and I was like, we can do this. I got off that Zoom and I wanted to vomit. Okay, I wanted to hurl because I thought that was the dumbest thing I've ever done. Why would I put that goal out there for the world to see? Because now everyone's going to know if I fail. Would it have been a failure if we just hit Sapphire that month? No, because that still was a big deal. It would not have been a failure. But I literally felt sick to my stomach after putting a big goal out there because it was so stinking scary. And then all of the doubts started filling in. It all started creeping in of like, okay, well, um, there's a reason why less than 10 people have done this because it's really, it seems really hard. And I don't know how we're going to rally all these people. And I don't know how we're going to do all of this. And it's like the how always starts to try to freak you out. Okay. It's always going to try to freak you out. But when you have determined in your mind that you are going to do something, I promise you the how will always come after you decide that you're going for something, okay? So here are a few things that I did that month to help manage my mind because I knew the number one thing that was going to help us to be able to reach that goal was me protecting my peace and managing my mind. So I knew that I didn't have time to waste when a, because time was ticking, I didn't have time to waste when a negative thought popped into my mind. So something negative would come in, a doubt would come in, it would start to flood my mind and I would say, 
How do I flip this script? Okay. How do I change this? What do I need to do? I would go outside for 10 minutes. I would meditate. I would visualize 4,500 points in my mind until I cried. Have you ever visualized points in your back office to the point that you've cried? The number of times I actually hit diamond in my mind was a lot before we ever actually hit it. Okay. So I was already ready for those feelings because everything first, you want to experience it in your mind before you experience it in reality. If you're like, I can't even imagine my next goal in my mind, you're never going to hit it because you have to be able to imagine it in your mind first. So spending that time standing outside with bare feet on the, on the, on the soil, just grounding myself, right. For like 10 minutes to clear my mind, get back in, put on a favorite song, listen to something quick and motivational. I had a whole tool belt of things that I would use and it looks different for everyone. Do you have certain things that you can jump on real quick for when your mind starts to go and your mind starts to doubt yourself? You say, I'm going to watch this two minute video. I'm going to listen to this song. I'm going to go meditate. I'm going to do my gratitude journal. I'm going to ground myself outside. Like, what does that look like for you? I'm going to go take a hot bath. I'm going to do whatever it looks like. You need to have a list of those things because the attacks of your mind are going to come. And I would say that was probably one of the number one things that kept my belief high that month was I just kept focusing on managing my mind. You guys, that's the key in this business, right? It's learning to manage your mind because every single one of you can be emerald. Every single one of you can be diamond if you wanted it, but you sabotage yourself with your thoughts, with your doubts, with all of these kinds of things. You have to be willing to look like a crazy person. I looked neurotic. Okay. I had people on our team being like, she's lost her ever loving mind. Like Emerald in a year, that was one thing. Double ranking. She's crazy. But you know what? By the end, they were so bought into what was happening. People will buy into you and your movement. If you give them something to believe in, are you giving your team something to believe in? Or are you like, mm, I just don't even know if I'm going to hit my goals. Who's going to follow that? People are not going to follow that. You guys, our goal for this team is to double in size this year. We have a vision. We have a place where you're going. What is your vision? What is your goal? What are you going after? Even if it seems impossible, you guys, it's okay for things to seem a little bit crazy, but if you can actually visualize it in your mind, then you can make it happen in reality. Okay. I am here to tell you, if you've spent any amount of time with me, you know that there is nothing special about me. Okay. I have, um, I mean, everyone can probably share ridiculous stories of them being on a trip with me, of me losing some kind of keys, getting locked out of somewhere, um, tripping and falling, trying to crack hard boiled eggs into a pan. Um, Shannon says, I'm special and we love you. <laughs> um, special maybe for some other reasons, but I'm here to tell you like there is not, it's, I didn't walk into this being like this, these, this is what I'm going to do in my business. These are going to be all these grand things. It didn't start out that way. It was one step at a time. So I want you to ask yourself, what is your next step? What is your micro goal? What is that next mini step that you are going to run after? What does that look like? Maybe it's leaders retreat for you. Um, and, and getting to those next ranks, whatever that is, I want you to look at that micro goal, that next step for yourself along the way. And I want you to spend time every single day, even if it's just two to three minutes, I want you to spend that time visualizing. Oh my gosh, yes. Armpit tacos. That was hilarious. Um, so I want you guys to visualize that. Okay. Because it is amazing what your mind can do. If you just allow it to believe. Okay. That's literally where all of this starts. And if you're like, Megan, I think that's too good to be true. Spend some time visualizing. <laughs> okay. Because it really is that simple, right? The work is going to come. The house is going to come after, but your biggest obstacle is going to be you fighting you, <laughs> you fighting your brain because your brain is going to try to keep you safe, but let's be a little reckless. Okay. Let's be a little dangerous. Let's live life on the edge and let's have a little bit more fun. Okay. So Speaking of having fun, I have a little bit of a few more um, giveaways before we jump off of here. And so I want you um, to pop into the chat and I want you to um, I want you to share 
a, a fun, let's be a little reckless. Yes. I want you to share something really fun that happened for you last month that made that you were winning. Okay. So type it real fast in the chat. Something that happened last month that you were super proud of does not have to be that you signed somebody up does not have to be that you earned the spa does not have to be that you earned some prize for convention contest. Um, I want this to be more like something, something scary that you did something bold that you did something fun, something out of your comfort zone. Um, and based off of that, I will pick some people to win. Okay. Alicia said she drove and did her first sip and see and shared with more life who's here and just went gold. Yay! Oh my gosh. This is so, so exciting. Okay. We had first sip and sees. That is amazing. Okay. Two asks the day Victoria has been doing, um, and signed up for Melissa. I can horse coaching. Okay. Finally, Emily finally got a builder posted an embarrassing before and after I'm telling you guys, every time you do something that like makes you sweat and makes you have armpit tacos, which means it looks like a taco under here and you're sweating really bad. And you're like, Oh my gosh, I want to die and hide, but you didn't die. Every time you do those things, you get closer and closer to your goals. Do something scary every single day. Amanda sent two to three messages. Mary got three people that haven't been ordering. Kim did a virtual sip and see. Um, Tabitha went to the gym gym five days in a row. You guys, this is huge. Nicole went up in points and it was not just because of new enrollments. It was because of retention, which is going to be key for leaders retreat. Jean re-ranked gold, um, asked her daughter in West Virginia to host a sip and see. Yeah. Deborah Hannah had huge, huge mindset shifts this month. She helped two ladies share with over six people each, which is crazy. Um, Sarah responded in a breastfeeding group about the business opportunity for moms who were looking for stay-at-home jobs. Paige said that she sent some hard messages messages with ask Kim sign someone up that she met that day. Um, okay. I'm not sure who galaxy S 22 is, um, but they are having a hostess month and someone offered to host a sip and see Alicia ran her first business builders call. Shannon hosted momentum meetup. Deborah Ann got winner's dinner after having not earned anything in the contest as of April 1st. Um, Tracy just started posting about Plexus on social media and sent messages. You guys, when you hear all of these things, does that not like freaking fire you up? Like it makes me feel like so excited. We need to do more of this. We need to do more celebrating. We need to share more wins. If you guys are not doing that in your team chats, if you're not doing that with your teams, I encourage you to do that more because if you can protect your energy, if you can raise that energy, if you can celebrate more, it is going to help you. So I'm just going to go through and just like randomly pick some numbers. Okay, so we have got... Doo -doo -doo. Okay, um, let's see. We have, no, I'm just going to pick. And okay. We have our first winner. We have Tabitha and you are the winner of a plexus hat. So here you go, girlfriend. Congratulations on going to the gym five days a week. That is fantastic. And we are so, so proud of you. We're so proud of every single person who's on there. Also, if you win a prize, please message me and tell me what the prize was and what your address is, because I will for sure forget by the time we get off of this call, it is a weakness of mine. And so just help me out here and send me a message and tell me exactly what you got and what your address is, or else you'll never get your prize. Just being totally honest with you right there. Okay, next we have a winner of a fun pair of Plexus sunglasses, which is always super fun. Okay. Sarah Flood, you are the winner of some sunglasses. Okay. We have a bag of collagen sticks, which, you know, everybody seems to love collagen. Um, I'm going to send this out to who's our next lucky winner. Do, 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 do. We're going to send this to the birthday girl, Nicole, you get a bag of collagen. And we've got one more. We've got a bag of active and we are going to go ahead and send that. We've got Tracy. Tracy is just starting to post on social media and we're so excited for that. So message me, tell me what you got so that I can get these all out in the mail to you. Um, okay, you guys, thank you so much for jumping on here today. I want to tell you guys that I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you for showing up for yourself. And I want you to remember that your dreams 
are possible, that you can do whatever you put your mind to. This month, we are going to be sharing all kinds of wins. We're going to be, um, you know, remembering about different things that have happened to help build that inspiration because there are people on our teams who were not here for that. They have no idea what happened. They have no idea what is even capable. And we need to be casting that vision for them about where they can be, what they can do. Or maybe your belief, honestly, has just been a little bit shaky. Okay. Maybe you're like, I just, I'm not where I wanted to be. I thought I'd be farther along by now. Right. Okay. Maybe you're having some of those doubtful thoughts. Well, you know what? At any given point, you get to change who you are, the trajectory that you're heading in based on your thoughts. And if you need some help working through this, message me, okay? You have people in your corner who are here for you, who are willing to cheer you on, who want to cheer you on, who want to see you succeed. Because when we all succeed, when we are reaching our goals, everyone collectively wins. You guys, that's how this works. Nobody gets to the top by themselves. I would never be here if it wasn't for each and every one of you guys. And so I want to give a huge thank you to you guys and just stay tuned for some more fun stuff that is going to be happening throughout the month. So let's have an amazing May. Let's have some massive, massive growth because we have double points for leaders retreat. You guys, do you understand how huge that is? Double right off the bat. You better be working your booties off. Okay. Because you can do that because you guys are going to be on the boat. And when the doubts start to creep in, you now have a game plan and you know exactly what to do to be able to conquer those. And it's literally just doing that same thing over and over and over again. That seems boring, but that is success, you guys. Okay. I love you all so much. You're amazing. And I'll talk to you guys soon.